Alright, it's off soon. It's day 15 of Life to the Limit. I'm taking you through the next piece of gear that I found particularly useful on this little challenge of sorts, and that's my Adidas Terex sunglasses. Now, everyone at Life to the Limit obviously has sunglasses, and we all need them because the glare off the waves, off the sea, off the sand is, is something terrible. So, you want to try and protect your eyesight with a good pair of polarized glasses. But these are a great pair of polarized glasses, and I'm going to tell you exactly why. First up, they come with custom inserts. Now I'm a bit blind, so I needed these custom inserts specifically for the glasses. Very simply, it's basically a lens which you just tape down to your nearest optician. And he just provides it. You have it obviously coated in a certain way so that it fits your, uh, your prescription. And you simply just clip it on to the eyepiece, like so. And the prescription sits inside, which means that I can obviously see through the glasses, which is awesome, and I'm not as blind as a bat on the island. Then you've got obviously the very basics that come with glasses like these, which is the ear frame or the earpiece that sits behind. Under normal circumstances, if you're walking around the beach on Camps Bay or if you're you know, taking a cycle ride somewhere, you might wear the sunglasses like this. But the truth of the matter is that I cannot afford to lose these, and given the nature of the challenge that I'm doing where I'm in the sea, I'm up the river and I need my glasses on the whole time. I can't afford to have these ear pieces. So what Adidas has done is they've included what I think is an absolutely remarkable function and I'll show you exactly how it works. You simply take the ear piece like so, clip it off, you'll notice that there's no metal so it's not going to rust when you're staying next to the seat. And then it comes with a custom headband like so which you very quickly clip into position. There's one gone. There's a second gone. And you've got yourself, I've actually got it upside down, but you get the general drift. You've got a headband, which effectively turns these sunglasses into a pair of goggles. So if you're snowboarding, or if you're wading through deep water, um, if you're trail running, and you can't afford for your glasses to fall off, you simply use this attachment and it ensures they stay attached to your head. But that's not all because what these glasses also come with, but I didn't bring it to the island, is actually a foam, uh, I suppose, bridge, if you will, that you attach to the glasses like so. Once again, it attaches onto the, the nose bridge and it sits over there and effectively turns the sunglasses into a pair of goggles. They don't fog up, they're not going to mist up, which means that you can wear them when you're snowboarding, which is remarkably useful. Adidas also gives you a second pair of lenses with these glasses. I took the darker of the two, I think it cuts out 97% of the harmful UV rays, but you get another slightly less dark lens as well, which you can obviously insert at will. And then last but not least, a function that I particularly enjoy, it turns you into somewhat of a, I suppose, a Batman, but basically it's a nose bridge. You simply clip it into the bottom, like so. onto the top and you've got something that protects your nose at all times and when you're spending time outdoors, outdoors you obviously can't afford to stop or reapply suntan lotion every 15 to 20 minutes so what Adidas has done is they've actually included this attachment which clips on, it's very lightweight, it's ventilated, there are vents in it, it's got foam in it to protect your nose from the harmful UV rays which means that you're not going to end up looking like Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer. Uh, so a fantastic pair of glasses uh, they've been used to the top of Everest. They are, I suppose, expedition grade glasses, and I'd recommend it for any outdoor adventurer who's doing anything more serious than a day hike, etc. Thank you so much, Eddie Does.